So, we looked at how SRE complements Agile and DevOps in our last video. But what about IT service management frameworks like ITIL? This is also compatible with SRE. In SRE, failure is viewed as a learning opportunity. This mirrors a key principle of ITIL that continuous learning should be embedded within organizational processes. ITIL also provides guidance and structure to key areas that SRE is involved in. Various models covering change, configuration, release, incident, and problem management offer predefined procedures as well as outlining steps for specific transaction types, responsibilities, timescales, thresholds, and escalation procedures. Adopting these ITSM practices can add structure to SRE activities, while at the same time, SRE engineering can help automate these practices, removing human decision, making time, and improving deployment velocity. A key area of difference involves attitudes to change control. As we know, change is managed in SRE through error budgets. These dictate how much change is possible in any time period. Error budgets are designed to be spent each month, dictating how many releases are possible. ITIL has a more formal approach to change control. Change requests must be made to Change Advisory Board, or CAB, in advance, which will improve them. Combining these two approaches can have many benefits. SRE engineering can automate aspects of the CAB's role, making decisions faster and creating an auditable paper trail. The CAB can also support SRE practices by providing oversight of changes proposed by SREs. This oversight ensures that risks are properly assessed, maximizing the chances that SRE initiatives will be successful. So, it should be clear that SRE, DevOps, Agile, and ITSM don't exist in isolation, but rather represent a system of systems.